Hey everyone, it's Natasha. So in today's video, I have a library haul for you. So these books are pretty much in two different categories, weather and election. So if you're interested in either of those categories, definitely stick around. So this first stack is all about weather. I've got National Geographic Kids weather. These are these little readers. I mean, if you're familiar with National Geographic Kids, they are all kind of the same. And then we've got this ready to read rain. And then we've got Who Took the Farmer's Hat. And I'm assuming this one is about wind. And then Tracks in the Snow. And the first snowfall. And uh, Face the Wind. Oh, this is cool. So it, it, t it talks about like things to do, roll the ball and everything. And then the book, wave it slowly, it pushes the air molecules. Wow, blow air out of your mouth. Ooh, this book is gonna be awesome. That is really, really cool. Okay, and then we've got Big Snow. And then a letter to Amy. Clouds. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. I didn't know I was getting two. I meant to get one, but I guess I'll have to now get one. And then Mushroom in the Rain. And then The Wind Blue. Tap, tap, boom, boom. Oh, this one looks fun. Thunder Cake. Oh, this is... That reminds me of, what is the other book like this? Um, hmm, I can't think of it, but there's another book that I'm reminded of. Okay, so then we'll get into the elections books. So let's get them all here. So the first thing I have is actually some DVDs. I've got this Start Smart History, I Need to Know, Electing Our President and Understanding the Constitution for grades three to five. So we're kind of going to take a pause over normal history for the next couple of weeks and just study about the election. Um, I didn't wanna do a full like election unit study or anything like that. I just picked up these resources that kind of hit everything from my kindergarten, third grade and fifth grader. And so we're just gonna use these resources, make it real simple. So anyway, that looks really good. I, it's, I'm excited to watch this. Um, Schoolhouse Rock, election collection. Of course you need Schoolhouse Rock. Bad Kitty for president. Um, one vote, two votes, I vote, you vote. The Cat in the Hat Learning Library. I find these learning library books are even good for that older elementary age because they're just so full of information that, in fact, this will be over my youngest head pretty much, but this will be good for my third and fifth grader. And then Auto for President, I feel like this is definitely for the younger crowd, one that's typically used for the younger crowd. And then same thing with Grace for President, also very commonly used for the younger crowd to teach about elections. And Duck for President, that's another one that's really commonly used in the younger crowd. And then we have Vote for Our Future. Now this one is really cool and it has um, some pullout pages somewhere. I really miss them, but it does have some pullout pages oh, right here. So that's really cool. Um, I think this book is brand new to my library. And then we have this Election Day book. And this is more for my third and fifth grader um, to, to learn about the election. So we'll probably just break this up. Oh, look, it even has a quiz at the end. Very nice, that's perfect. Yeah, so I think this will be really good. Now, the last book I got has nothing to do with any of those categories. It's The Key from Spain. We are learning about Spain in our Up and Away Adventures box. And 
This book happened to be displayed on the shelf. This was our first time going in the library in like over six months. They finally just opened to go in. They only let you browse for 30 minutes. You have to use hand sanitizer, wear masks. They write your name down, you know, make sure you don't have symptoms, all of that whole deal. Um, but we were super, I was super excited to find this since we are learning about Spain. And it says, when Flory's ancestors are forced to leave Spain during the time of the Spanish Inquisition, they take with them their two most precious possessions, the key to their old house and the Ladino language. So anyway, I just thought this would be really cool tie-in with our box. So that is what we got. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.